Hey everyone, Danny Lopez with MVP Productions, and I just got back from NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters, NAB 2024. And the big hype this year was surrounded all the Blackmagic uh, upgrades and new equipment that they're putting out, especially the three three brand new cameras. There's uh, there's a 17K, a 12K, um, but there's a new box camera, and I believe it's called the Pixis. It's only two thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars, um, but it is a a beautiful camera for the price point. It's six K full sensor. It's like I, I I don't know how you can go wrong with that. Um, I heard some people complaining about the the monitor being on the side, but hey, when you're thinking about it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody working a camera without an external monitor anyway. Um, I have uh, an Inferno with Shogun, I have a port keys, and I have uh, a Shogun and an Inferno uh, monitors for my cameras. So I always put an external monitor on there anyway. And I do have a, an EDS as well. Uh, so when I'm doing, you know, uh, some certain handheld shots or over the shoulder shots and I'm working off that EDS. I like having that right there, but I don't think I've ever used the, the camera monitor strictly as my reference point. I use it more as a, as a reference to set up my shots and see where I want to go with it. But after that, I you know I monitor I, I stay there monitoring the shots on on the external monitor that I apply to the camera. So honestly, I don't think that's a deal breaker for me, especially at 2000, you know. I mean, when you think back in terms of, you know, I, way back in the day, I ended up buying a Canon uh, X01, you know, the very first ones that came out that simulated film look. And then I went to the Panasonic AGAF 100. Both those cameras were priced well over what Blackmagic is pricing this this really great cinematic camera, you know, and so what if it didn't have, thir you know, if it has 13 stops of dynamic range, it comes with a free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is made to work hand in hand with that camera. So any way you slice it, I mean, this is like, you know, like they say, it's a Snickers bar, any way you slice it, it still comes out peanuts, man. It's, it's, a, it, it's a great camera for the price point. You can't beat it. I don't think there's any camera out there that's giving you a full frame sensor, 6K resolution with all the flavors uh, and codecs that you can with this camera. It's a box camera. It's not that elongated, wonky uh, style camera. And I have two of those. I have two of the 6K Pros. But this, this is ergonomically set up for handheld shots, gimbal work. It's the perfect shape the perfect camera and at that price point you just really can't beat it. So my hat goes off to Black Magic. Kudos to you guys for really kicking it out of the ballpark. If you haven't seen the camera, check it out. Black Magic's new Pixis, I believe it's it's called. And I'm hoping I'm not butchering that, but it's it's a beautiful camera. Check it out.